This morning, the Chan family from Fernley in the Lake Independence community received the keys to their new home built under the Brisena government's Modular Houses pilot project. One family member representing the new owners expressed their gratitude to the Ministry of Housing and Infrastructure Development. I'm glad to see you all here and I really appreciate it for all my friends and family who is here with me to see that I am receiving something that I was really, really wanted to have. I really appreciate this, what they've done for me, and I really love it. This is a really thing that I appreciate and I'm glad for, because I don't think I would have ever had one like this. Their era representative, Deputy Prime Minister Cordell Hyde, is glad that his government could finally deliver on a promise he made to this family over a decade ago. New house is a big deal. I know for the Chan family, like, it's a bigger deal. Because we'll wait a long time. I found like 2008, I promised this lady I'll give her a house once we win again. And we just couldn't win. <laughs> like, we're 13 years to get ya. <laughs> but we're finally there. I came back to politics primarily for people like Miss Anna. So that I could fulfill the promise I made to those people. Because um, I grew up in this era. I live just like them. Grew up just like them, so I could relate entirely to the challenges they have. Um, and that's our job as representatives and government ministers, really, to try as very best as we can to deliver to as many people as we can, primarily the people who need our help the most. And we just want a little lift. You know, this, this house will, will take them forward for generations, you know, because previous to that, the, Mr. Morrow didn't even know if he would make it to this day because he's been battling a lot of illnesses. Um, so I'm happy that he's here. Happy that they have a start. It's a one bedroom, but it has an opportunity to grow into multiple bedrooms, I think up to four bedrooms. Was there any sort of needing to convince your colleague from the Ministry of Housing that this family is a, a candidate for this project? Um, no, man, I, I, he, he's been very helpful to us. His ministry has been very helpful and responsive to Lake Independence needs and uh, they didn't take a lot of convincing. Um, they can see, they can feel, they know that it's real and they know that I won't bring any, any undeserving proposals to them. Um, the people who we are targeting are the people who need help the most, who just really need a lift and this is what this is about and so I'm thankful to the Minister Espat and his staff because they make these people really comfortable through the process. Um, they take care of everything. So, um, it's a wonderful day for us. The Ministry of Housing and Infrastructure Development had to make more of an effort to address this family's housing needs. This is just one of hundreds that we're working on. Um, as you can see, just to be able to access the property, we had to build the road and we had to kind of fill the lot. So it's, sometimes it ends up being more than just building the house. But that's what we're here for. These people are, are in need. Um, they have no other means. Um, we had a mandate when we formed this government and we are fulfilling that as best as we can. So it's a pleasure for us to assist them. The program is the same. Um, government subsidizes approximately 70%. The homeowner pays $12,000 in 10 years at $100 a month or $25 a week if you want it to sound like that. Um, $100 a month in this day and time is absolutely nothing to pay for rent. We have been speaking to some people outside that have applied today. They are paying $400 in this area for a little plywood shop. And so um, it just confirms that, that the program is a positive one and that people are appreciating it and they only neglect, not neglect, but the only sad part, we would like to do more. And so we are having all our people out trying to seek financing to see if we can do more. How much houses do you expect, not hope, expect will be built in, in your area? A lot. A lot. Um, the needs are plenty. Um, we're a year and a half in. We still have three and a half years to go. Um, got off to a little bit of a slow start, but that's based on what we found once we got in there. Um, but I expect a lot. We're going to build as many as we can for as many people as we can, and particularly for people who need the help, man. You can count on the Ministry of Infrastructure Development as long as the CEO and I are there. So you have to lobby for me to stay. <laughs> that we will make sure that Leikai gets its fair share. And we have to. I was driving here with the CEO and I said, this area big, because you know you know it, but you don't know it. Because we drive with my last, so we never know who will find the house. Reporting for 7 News, Daniel Ortiz.